My favorite video game character is Mega Man. Growing up, it was one of my favorite games too. Play back then. I've only played Mega Man 2 through Mega Man 8. I can never find a copy of the original Mega Man about a year after Mega Man 8 came out. I went to an old video game store to pick up Super Mario World. I gave it to my older brother as a moving out gift. When I found a copy of Mega Man 1 with, a, with the cover art torn off, leaving bits and pieces of a leftover sticker and Mega Man 1 written on it with a black marker. I never played the original Mega Man before, so I decided to buy it. I went to the checkout to buy two games, while all of a sudden the checkout clerk just froze and dropped the Mega Man cartridge. I asked what was wrong, but he just told me, take it. I can't stand to look at it. I can't stand to think of it. I asked what he meant by this, and all I could say was, Hello, devil. I looked at him confused when he quickly gave me the bag and told me, Burn that cartridge. Destroy it. I don't care how I don't care how you do it. Get rid of it. Do not play it. Or it'll be after you too. I looked at him worried and quickly ran out of the store and went back to my house. I was curious on what all the fuss was over. This cartridge of Mega Man was about. I quickly put it in the NES, feeling curious on what scared the hell out of the clerk. Besides, it's Mega Man we're talking about. How bad could it be? I was greeted with the title screen. I pressed start, and instantly there was a loud screeching coming from the game with a picture of a red eye appearing shortly after, lasting for about a split second. I was then greeted with a stage select screen. I saw six robot masters. Cut Man, Guts Man, Elec Man, Bomb Man, Ice Man, and Fire Man. One thing I found odd was that the background was pitch black and the robot mastered masters had bright red eyes. My brother, who had played the game before, told me that Cut Man was the easiest boss. So I decided to follow his advice. I selected Cut Man, but in the, instead of displaying the Robot Master's name after selecting him, it said, Leave now. I started the level and it, it was just a straightforward path. No enemies. No bottomless pits. Nothing. It played Mega. It played Cut Man's theme, which sounded nice. But as Mega Man started to walk to the right, it became more and more demonic, slowing down in tempo and lower in pitch. At the end of the road was a boss door. I entered it, and there was Cut Man. Before the fight started, Cut Man said, "Mega Man, get out." or it will catch you and take you along with it. The battle started and I fought Cutman. During the battle, giant yellow blobs started to appear on the screen. They weren't coming for Mega Man, they were aiming at Cutman. The blob formed over Cutman, then he started screaming while the yellow blob slowly killed him. After that, the screen went to black and showed a series of violent pictures Cut Man being suffocated, crushed, torn apart by the yellow mass. All that was left of Cut Man was his head and a couple of limbs with blood all over the floor. The loud screeching noise from before showed up, and this time it lasted longer and Tech showing up saying they will all die and so will you no one can escape the yellow devil I was sent back to the title screen to see that Dr. Wily's castle was now acceptable 
and that the rest of the robot masters were gone. I chose Dr. Wily's castle, and instead of displaying Wily's name, it just said, You were warned. Now you will pay. After that, I was immediately transported there. The sky was blood red, and the castle was destroyed, covered in flames and blood. Mega Man slowly walked into the remains of the castle to find Wily, Dr. Light, Roll, and the other robot masters on the floor. They all seemed to be dead, as if there was blood on the floor. And on their lifeless bodies. I walked up to them, and in the text form from all the characters appeared, saying, Why didn't you save us? Turn back now. It's going to kill you. You cannot escape. The Red Eye. The Red Eye. And as Mega Man continued to walk forward, the yellow blobs from before came out and behind him at an incredibly fast rate and formed a giant yellow creature with a demonic red eye. All it said was, I am the yellow devil. No one can escape me. The screeching noise immediately came back, only this time it was louder and lasted through the whole fight. The blobs came hurling at Mega Man at an incredibly fast pace that I couldn't have Mega Man dodge them, and with each blob that hit Mega Man, he became slower and slower and jumped lower and lower. It got to the point where Mega Man couldn't move, and he was swallowed by the Yellow Devil hole. The screeching noise got even louder as the giant yellow blob spat Mega Man out, and was revealed, mangled, ripped apart blood-drenched corpse. The screen went black, and all that was shown was the corpse of Mega Man, with a red eye forming behind it. The screeching noise got even louder, more high-pitched, as text appeared saying, They're all dead. Now you're next. Then the words, kept on forming on the screen. The text kept getting bigger, and the screen, the screech got louder and high pitched. And soon after, the red eye appeared again, with with the screech reaching its maximum pitch and volume. I quickly shut off the game. I took out took it out of the console. Then I took it with me. I had to go back to the game store. I, that I bought it from. I had to get the answers on this thing I was holding in my hand. I barged into the store to find all the games were gone and the store clerk was nowhere to be found. Angry, I then proceeded to drive back up to my house, scared out of my mind with only one objective, destroy this game. I got a hammer from my garage and I proceeded to violently smash the game to bits. Then I threw the remaining pieces in my garbage can. My brother came came home afterwards and asked me what was up. I told him what happened and explained that what I had witnessed. He didn't seem to believe me at first, but he soon gave in, stating he never seen me this freaked out before. Then he patted me on the back and asked me if I wanted to come over to his come by his new house and hang out there and watch some TV. I agreed. We drove to his house, watched The Simpsons for a while. When we all when all of a sudden, I fell asleep. I dreamt that I was walking to my house in the middle of the night. I soon went up to my driveway, but all of a sudden, my stomach started to hurt. It started to get worse, and soon I was vomiting and coughing out blood in this yellow substance. I continued this non-stop until the yellow substance formed the yellow devil and proceeded to run. But it spilled onto my multiple pieces. They latched onto me. I couldn't move. I couldn't yell for help because my mouth was covered up. I was helpless. Then it swallowed me whole. 
and all I could hear was the agonizing screams of a loud screeching sound. I felt my bones being crushed and my skin being torn apart as it violently ripped off my limbs. Every time I opened my mouth to scream, I kept drinking the yellow ooze until I suffocated me. And the last thing I could hear was, You thought you could escape me, but you were wrong. No one escaped the yellow devil. It kept repeating, No one escapes the yellow devil. Over and over, getting louder and louder along with the screeching sound as I slowly suffocated after that. I could see my mangled, lifeless corpse lying on the ground with a red eye behind it.